Chess friends, how's everyone doing? Hikaru Nakamura is a super grandmaster renowned for his bullet speed and tactical mastery. He's not just a top chess player but also the top chess streamer and YouTuber, securing five US champion titles with an impressive blitz LO of 2874. Now, let me share a recent game I played against him in the Humans vs AI event, I made a rook sacrifice and trust me, this game is absolutely superb, let's jump right in, Hikaru started the game with e4. c5 and here black can go with knight f3, let me show you the variation, e6 d4 take take knight c6, knight c3 then play d6, Tamanov variation, Tamanov was a Russian grandmaster who named this opening as his name, bishop e7 is a very tricky move and here, if white plays queen g4, attacking to the pawn then he will fall in our trap right away, knight captured captured e5 to target both of the guys, white played queen takes g7, first we will play bishop f6 to rescue our best friend, never let your friend die. Save him from all dangers, capture and black wins a material, congratulation, you have learned in another chess opening, Hikaru played knight c3, d6 and after few moves the game converted into the classical variation of Sicilian, do you know what is the Hikaru Nakamura's Japanese name, I know, don't search it on Google or ask Nakamura, here Naka could go with knight b3, putting Rolls Royce cars in queen side, knight g4 will come to target it. Bishop shamed bishop e7 and after some moves later white played f4, then play d5, f5 to attack it but we will ignore it, if white captures the pawn then he will fall in our chess trap again, take take queen check, the bishop is double attacked by the pieces and you know what, Kanji is the Nakamura's Japanese name, when he was a teenager, he watched anime movies and fell in love with an anime girl, unfortunately the girl was not real, quite an amusing twist, lol, back to the position. Kanji word means who is good at sword fighting and he is good at intellectual sword fighting, so he played knight f3 and after some moves later, I played bishop e6, he could go with queen e2 to protect his bishop and play long castle, but he puts his bishop in center, that's a quite surprising move, castle castle rook here h3 and after a few moves I played knight to a5 to play knight c4, attacking to the guards of king Duncan, knight d2 a6 queen e2 b5, to play queen d7 and b4. So after a3 queen d7 f4 I played a game changer move, I sacrificed, guess what, yes you are right, I sacrificed, the superhero, because after takes I win the d5 pawn, attacking to the idiots, queen d3 queen c6 adding pressure to the pawn, if you play knight e4 to protect your cousin, let me show you the variation, knight c4 will target at your uncle cousin, bishop d2, f5 knight backs on g3 and we have e4, the queen is under attack and if you dare to play queen d4 then your good luck will leave you. You will lose your love? If you had to choose between love and career, what you will choose, can you answer of my question? I will select my carrier because social work is better than personal satisfaction, queen e2 g6, making strong chain to play bishop f6, attacking to the pawn, don't worry if you lose your love, an American survey reveals that a good gentleman falls in love seven times throughout his entire life, rook e1 then we will capture the pawn on f4, queen f2 knight takes d2, queen takes d2 will lead bishop takes c3. Which will cause diabetes in your stomach and under stomach, so after queen takes f4 bishop takes c3, if you dare to save the rook then black will play knight c4, threatening bishop d2, so rook e2 to protect that square and getting rid out from the bishop attack, knight takes e3 rook takes bishop to e2, and white is utterly lost, he is paralyzed, lying in a hospital bed, unable to make any moves to win the chess game, so he sleeps and dreams of winning against stockfish. Hoping it's the only way he can achieve it, so back to the position, Naka play a4, take rook f3 knight takes pawn bishop, gets down to attack on the knight, Hikaru said, while my strategy is bigger than I see, rook to e1 to attack to the pawn, a3 pawn takes and capturing the pawn isn't good because it will help Naka to open up the files, I am down a material so I have to close the position until I get a climax, breakthrough or a cream ice cream, yes I love ice cream and I love my pass pawn. I love Magnus and I love my friend's Wi-Fi password, bishop a1 to kiss the pawn, d4 knight f3 to attack on the pawn, so g6, rook f4 and I played queen c7 to ask the rook, who the hell you are, why are you here, if you dare to save the rook, 
knight c6 rook to c1, couple of moves later we will play queen c5, then d3, the pawn's destiny is very clear and sharp, better than your phone's camera, if you capture the pawn then your bad luck will start, take take and the king has to run, capture queen here rook d1. Black is just utterly lose, he can't do anything, he can only wait for his checkmate, and life goes on like river water flowing. The sun is arriving, and the birds are singing a checkmate song and friends, if you are enjoying my content then support me by subscribing to my channel, like comment and share this video with your friends, back to the position, my friend Nakamura played g3, knight c6 knight takes d4, we have big war in the center, America and Japan war, 1945, queen a5 to support Japan, but in that time, Japan's economic and people condition was so bad, he is just losing the war, if white plays queen d1 to protect the rook. Then rook takes c3 will destroy you, what you will play? You will lose the game, Bruce Lee is coming on f3 to showcase his kung fu fighting skills, rook f2 queen check and king backs rook h1 king e2 and that's it, white will be checkmated in 10 moves, if you can't checkmate white in 10 moves then just capture the queen, back to the position, we have rook f1 rook takes. c3, queen d2 rook c2, if you dare to save the queen then it will checkmate in 3 moves, so in this position Nakamura resigned the game, because after rook d8 check, white did a queen exchange with black, I am just showing you how the game will be end, this game with Nakamura was an amazing feeling and gratification for me. I want to thank Nakamura for joining this chess event. He's a handsome and attractive guy, not better than me, but he's certainly not less than anyone. In fact, his chess moves are almost as sharp as his looks, white will be checkmated in just few moves, I hope you learned a lot from this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video in your WhatsApp and Facebook, because you are my best friend, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.